Hey, this is Ian Westerman. I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com, where it's my mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players just like you. Welcome to this video in which we're gonna do something that I've actually been meaning to do for a while. We're gonna do a full tutorial on how to hit a tweener. And a tweener, in case you're not really sure, is a shot where your back is facing the net and you hit a shot between your legs with your back facing the net, as opposed to facing the net and hitting a shot between your legs, which as far as I'm concerned is a between the legs shot. Tweener is where your back is facing the net. So this is a tough shot and we're just having some fun today. You know, this is not a shot that you really want to spend time uh, really making comfortable. Although if, you know, if you just want to go out and have some fun, this is a, a fun thing to try. Can also be a painful thing to try if uh, you don't really know what you're doing. So let's uh, go through the steps here. First and foremost, grip is very important. I recommend either a continental grip or somewhere towards Eastern backhand, and uh, one-handed backhand uh, grip. And you'll see why as I start to demonstrate the, the technique of this. Now, once we, once we have the grip correct, the, the most important thing is positioning. And this is the important part. And I, I haven't really seen this explained very well anywhere yet. I, I hope that this is uh, really helpful to you if you've been trying to get the hang of this shot. So a tweener really is hit best when you, your body moves past the ball before it bounces for the second time. So you're at the net, you get lobbed, the ball bounces behind you, you run up to the ball, and then as the ball is dropping again, you have to be moving fast enough that you actually go over the ball as it's coming down towards the court for the second time. And so at a bare minimum, when you make contact, your racket and the ball needs to be about even with kind of the center of your body, kind of center mass. If you want to be able to hit a tweener lob, you actually have to run past the ball. The ball needs to go between your legs and you need to run over the top of the ball. And to hit a tweener, the only way to hit a tweener lob is to actually run past it so that, you'll see from the side angle here, so that as you make contact, the racket and ball are actually behind you, back on your, your backside. It is impossible to hit a tweener much less a tweener lob. A tweener lob is much more difficult than just a regular uh, tweener where you just hit the ball relatively straight and flat. You can kind of just hit a drive over to the other side. Um, minimum, you need to be directly over the ball. If you want to hit a tweener lob, you actually have to run past the ball. So that means this takes quite a lot of quickness. You have to get moving faster than the ball is moving, overtake the ball, and time it so that as your racket gets to the ball, the ball is probably about six inches off the ground or so. You will not hit a successful tweener if you try to hit it. I mean, it's, this sounds obvious, but I see people attempt this and like try to hit it at waist height. <laughs> I know that it just this looks like a bad idea, right? But uh, that will not that will not let this work. Um, you shouldn't have to like lift your leg and do this kind of thing. It's all about the timing and your quickness and making contact at the right point in time. Now. Technique wise, this is kind of similar to a serve in that you want to begin with the racket on edge and then as your body travels over the ball and it's about to bounce for the second time, your racket will turn from on edge to square facing towards your target. And this is pronation, turning your hand inwards using your forearm. So on edge to square, on edge to square. And if you want to hit a tweener lob, again, you're making contact back behind yourself just a little bit and your racket will actually open so that it's angled upward to create the loft that we need to actually hit a lob. So I'm going to show you a couple of super slow motion video clips right now. We're, we're going to have an angle from uh, back view, also an angle from the side view. And you'll see me demonstrating these things, the technique, the grip, the positioning, which is incredibly important. And all of those things have to be in place and within a split second window in order for this to really be possible. So the best way to practice this to start off, and by the way, it's, it's much easier if you're just working with a stationary ball. So start with that. Make sure you have your continental or your Eastern backhand, a one-handed backhand grip. 
And what, the way I recommend practicing is standing somewhere in no man's land here, toss the ball up so that it's a little bit up over the top of your head, and then practice just coming over the ball and getting yourself positioned correctly. And then eventually, you'll want to toss, come over, and hit. And again, you should not have to like lift, lift your leg up in order to do this. It's all about being quick enough to get directly over the top of the ball so that by the time you hit, the ball is almost bouncing for the second time. Um, yeah, <laughs> well, just one time here. Almost bouncing for the second time in practice as well. And you've, you've actually completely traveled over the top of the ball. So those are all the steps necessary to hit a, a good tweener. This is a, a tough shot, but it's a fun shot. Not something that you really want to use in match situ situations, although I've done it. I'm sure I've won at least a couple points off it in match situations, which is exciting. Uh, but it's not something you want to use in an, an important match or on an important point. Usually it makes more sense to get around the ball and either hit a drive or, or a lob. But hopefully this has been helpful to you. If you've enjoyed this video, do me a favor and click like uh, if you're watching on YouTube. Also be sure to subscribe to the Essential Tennis YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future videos, pro footage, uh, Q&A videos, lots of stuff that we're constantly publishing. And with that, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Take care and good luck with your tennis.